Hello and welcome to Finextra. I'm Emily Haller and I'm here with Sophia Vikander of Nordea and we're talking about innovation. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you for having me. So why is there a need for innovation in banking? I think there are four parameters uh, that plays a role here. One is the customer and their changed behaviour. Uh, they want a personalised experience, uh, they want to have multiple options and they want to have real-time access to everything. Uh, secondly, the corporate customers, uh, they want to serve their customers, so we need to think not B2B, but actually B4B. So what is the customer needs of our customers? Uh, but in addition to, to helping them with that, we also need to look at simplifying how we do things. Uh, we need to look at the risk of fraud and cybercrime, and that is something that our corporate customers want our support with. The second thing is technology and understanding the dependency between the technologies and how we can utilize that. Uh, anything from blockchain to Internet of Things uh, and the connection between big data and Internet of Things. Uh, in two years from now, uh, it's, uh, we believe that um, the, the normal uh, Nordic person will be connected to six different devices and we're not talking about mobile or tablets. Uh, but other devices and we need to understand our role as a bank in that uh, Internet of Thing uh, era. The third thing is regulations where we have the data protection regulation and the PSD2 stipulating that the one who's owning the customer data is the customer and we as banks need to understand that and need to understand our role as the one protecting that data and securing that the customer feel safe and trusted in our environment. The fourth one is the new players with the fintechs uh, and the startups. There is no such thing as individual contribution anymore. We really need to be a part of an ecosystem as a bank. So how should banks be approaching innovation? I think uh, the key thing is that innovation needs to be customer driven. Any other type of innovation is you know, nice to have, but that is not for a corporate company. So being really, uh, really have an understanding of uh, what are the customer needs, what are the customer pain points, having the dialogue with customers and try to understand not only what is today, uh, what today is important, but also what is important in the future and being creative in understanding that. Uh, and do that uh, in cooperation uh, is key. Can you expand on what you mean by cooperation is key? The cooperation as such is uh, important both to get an understanding of what's going on in the marketplace. Uh, we as banks uh, need to understand where we are good and where we have a unique uh, uh, pitch, but we also need to understand where we are not that good or where we could gain from cooperate with, with others. And that is uh, with customers being a part of the customer journeys, understanding what, are, what is the daily life of our customers and based on that have an open dialogue where we dare to challenge the customer but also dare to let the, the customer understand that we are not certain of which technology to utilize or which processes to, to uh, make more efficient in order to serve them better. The other part is obviously to bring in uh, fintechs and startups, not only for the solutions or services they provide, but also to gain knowledge in new technology, new ways of working, and new mindsets uh, in regards to both general culture, but also how to, to attract customers, and especially maybe the younger generation of customers. We often hear about innovation culture. Is it a challenge for banks? I think it is. Uh, we have a tradition of, of being regulated, which means that innovation and regulation sometimes doesn't match. Uh, we also have a, a lot of legacy, which means that we have long cycles uh, in our development, and that is not efficient anymore. So uh, bringing a new mindset and a new culture, trying out new things, uh, being really customer centric and customer driven in anything we are doing and understanding to the point really understanding what it is that drives the customer's daily life is key. Another thing that is, is key to understand is that you need to link the innovation with 
making it industrialized and also bring it back to the organization. Innovation as such and having an innovative culture as a satellite to the rest of the organization will not change a bank or a big corporation in the long run. Another part which is linking to that is to have top management commitment uh, in innovation. And we in Nordea have that, uh, where it's a clear uh, message from uh, the top management that innovation and an innovative thinking is a part of our culture. Sophia, thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you for watching.